What is edge computing and do we need it? The IT industry is already full of terms and concepts like cloud. But wait, which cloud? Public cloud, private cloud, community cloud, hybrid cloud? And of course, we have Internet of Things or IoT or even industrial IoT. More recently, who hasn't heard of artificial intelligence or AI and machine learning? Throw in the mix big data and why not 5G? Then we're probably all quite confused, right? So do we need edge computing? I think so. And in this video, I'll explain why. In early 2017, Peter Levin, a well-respected thought leader in the tech industry, predicted the end of cloud computing. In his talk, he actually suggested that it's the edge that's going to dwarf the cloud in terms of amount of data to be processed. Now, it was a provocative talk, um, but he makes great points, and I invite you to listen to his talk, and I've put a, a link in the description below. I don't only think he was right, I think it's actually happening faster than we originally thought, just like climate change. If we look at um, IoT for a second, the initial idea was to connect the IoT sensors directly to the cloud. So for example, you would have your toaster talking directly to an application running in a public cloud somewhere. Same for your car, your smart street lights, your factory machine, and so on. But that strategy was seriously flawed. First, as you scale up, you'll flood the network with raw data. And if you imagine not only thousands, but many, many thousands of such devices talking at the same time, we're gonna have a scale issue. Second, we're possibly sending over the wide area network sensitive information such as video and audio streams. So that's not great. It would make more sense to process the data close to its source, transform the raw data into valuable and actionable information. And if you could act on this data in situ, then brilliant, because you've avoided a pointless round trip to the cloud and back. This is called near data processing or near data AI. And that's what the edge computing is all about. Further, this local data processing step is the perfect opportunity to anonymize the data or remove altogether any privacy intrusion aspect. For example, we use the video camera to detect presence of objects or events. You probably don't need to the raw data video streams, but only need to be notified when such event occurs with summary information. Let's look at artificial intelligence. Training models requires a lot of data. And it turns out that most of this data is actually produced by IoT type sensors at the edge. Now, to be effective, machine learning and AI in general requires high quality and well curated data sets. Another natural fit for pre-processing the raw data at the edge and only transfer useful and structured data or information. And once we have trained model, a natural place to execute those models close to the data is once more the edge. So we can actually deploy those models back to the edge. So you see the edge brings all of those technologies together, including the cloud in all of its forms, depending on your application and the domain in which you're operating in as well as the IoT layer, but in a scalable manner. In this channel, we'll explore the different facets of edge computing. I hope you'll enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.